Well, Dave and Perleta, that's why I don't want you and Joe and Ellery and the Robo Knight and those guys fighting over the land of Zion, Eden, and Atlantis, because the chances of it belonging to you or the planet Earth or the solar system in your claim, Dave, is probably false and a lie. And like I said, big entities who have more resources and information than most of you are going to detest it because there are royal lines that you don't even know about that invested in their heritage and lineage <laughs> and, and recorded much better than most of you. So, you can David Battlemore at and can competition with Joe and all that shit. But I can guarantee you this, it doesn't belong to any of you, because like I said, when that guy tried the last time after he screwed it up, they fried his ass down. Like I said, pay attention to what's in the water. I'm trying to help you guys while you're all trying to put on your carny performance of country and western. You have a black cross, basically, you in the, to, the, to the east. you got whatever faction that you're supporting down south. So just say Spanish Armada or whatever, the dark cross. <laughs> and then you have Ra to the west. Okay? Ra, set. And then what? What's above us? In the north. And you guys keep tattletailing. Joe, Harry, Bernard, Dave, probably the blue boy boxes to a female. But you guys sit there and deny her existence again. Let's see, um, Jim Hall, Bill of all, and you guys are all deformed and mutilated and stupid. You know why? Because you're trying to sit in a house that doesn't belong to you and rule it. And we were once moving toward an evolved line of species, but guess what? Guess who had to come down and make his attack? Oyster Cracker Man. First Colorado stripping it out, and then out here. So he could pretend and duck and weave and look, pretend to be the smartest man in the world with Bernard, but really, the group of you in those boxes are the most stupidest people to ever exist.